definitely giving what lace. What lace? Period. What lace? Where is it? Where is it? what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is kiana amari and in today's video i'm going to be collabing with reshine hair so reshine hair sent me a 4x4 closure wig this is a 250 density water wave 30 inch wig so we got the inches today okay we have the inches today and this install came out so bomb when i tell you this hair is so good this hair is so good. <laughs> this hair is so good and it's so easy to maintain. It's not a lot of maintenance. I love Water Wave. I didn't know I liked Water Wave so much until I did this wig. Like, I love curly hair, but Water Wave. All right. Okay. So we'll definitely get into the install, the lace, the curls, well, the waves, um, and how I defined it, how I got this look, how I got this lace to lay the way it's laying, all of that into this video. And before we get into that, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, everything you gotta do beforehand. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, y'all. I know I look rusty right now. Well, my hair does. It looks... It's fine. I look crazy, but it looks fine. The whole point of this is that I'm not going to look like this by the end of the video. But as I said in the intro, we are going to be working with Reshine Hair. And this is the cute little box that they sent me the hair in. Isn't it cute? Anyways, this is what the box looks like. So when you open it, it has a thank you on top with a QR code for the Instagram, the TikTok, and the WhatsApp for their company. And also the at names and WhatsApp number at the bottom of the QR codes. It also came with a Reshine um, card. Um, so of course it has your models on the front. On the inside, it has all the different do's and don'ts for the type of textures that they have and the care instructions and also recommended products products for the hair and on the back it's just the different types of hair that they offer also inside the bag they gave me a edge brush and also some wig caps and they also gave me two swab pieces of lace this is transparent lace and this is the hd lace so right now i'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to tell the difference of like the hd and the transparent so i'm just gonna do a little demo and spray them on my hand and then let them melt a little bit so you can see how each one sets onto the skin. I'm just gonna take my got to be and I'm just gonna spray them both on my hand. Just I overdid it. I don't care. So, this is the transparent. And then this is the HD. They're both pretty good. The HD is kind of like giving more skin than the transparent. I'm not gonna lie. And finally, this is the wig that we're gonna be working with today. I'm so excited. Um, once again, this is the Water Wave wig. It is 250 density, even though like it feels full, but it doesn't feel heavy, and I love that. But yes, this is a 30 inch 250 density 4x4 wig, and it's really kind of giving five by five-ish, maybe four and a half. I'm dragging it. Okay, four by four. <laughs> yes, this is what the wig looks like right now um the only thing i did to this wig was bleach the knots and pluck the front of it so with me plucking the front this is what it looks like i didn't want to pluck too much but i also didn't want to like not pluck enough and then have to pluck again so yeah and this is what the curl texture kind of looks like i legit just washed i didn't do any kind of defining curls to it anything like that um i just washed it from like the bleach sitting on the lace and that was pretty much it i didn't do anything else to this so the the natural textures of it is really nice and then this is what the inside looks like i went ahead and cut the lace that i was that was at the bottom off because i always forget to so i had to make sure and did it while it was on my mind so this is the closure um it has four combs so it has a comb somewhat at the back of the closure at the very bottom of the wig and on the sides of the wig and it also has an adjustable band at the bottom of the wig 
so yeah i'm so excited to put this on because it's 30 inches i ain't had 30 inches in a long time so i'm excited to see how this is gonna look let me just pin my little jailhouse braids up these dusty crusty braids i don't know if i want to do the ball cut method only because i don't know how long i'm gonna keep this on my head honestly i'm not gonna keep this on my head long because i actually have to do a sewing because i'm going somewhere <laughs> so i'm not gonna do the ball cap method um for this but i might i don't know i feel like because this is 30 inches i want to go all out so i might as well just do the ball cap method and call it a day so i'm gonna use my got to be spray this is the insta hold one and the blue and purple can this is my favorite one i have not i can't tell you the last time i used the yellow one um I've, since i found out about this one i've been using this one non-stop so yeah so I'm just gonna use this and spray along my hairline. I'm legit just spraying where the closure is gonna be. I'm not gonna go all out my whole hairline, no. Cause that's a little excessive for a closure. I really need to get my life and get a freaking camera so that I could be filming with my camera and my phone so I can make a TikTok to be like a short little thing of this so that it could be promo for the you get what i'm saying like i just need to get my life i just need to get my life i really need to get my life and get a freaking camera because this whole time i could be filming on my camera and filming on my phone so i could have a tiktok and a reel and also have a youtube video you get what i'm saying like i just need to I'm tired of myself. Anyways, <laughs> I am just going to cut off this excess cap right now that I don't need. And I'm just gonna take my Ruby Kisses and my foundation brush and brush a little bit, a little bit of that on the cap. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch because I know I'm probably gonna put some on the lace of the wig as well. But I'm just gonna put enough to where it blends and it don't look ashy. Boom. All right, so now it's time to put on the wig. I'm gonna start from the back. <laughs> There's a lot of hair, child. There's a lot of hair. All right, so this is what it's given. It's given scalp, okay? I'm excited. I'm really excited because I love curly hair and to have curly hair this length. Oh, okay, let me calm down. But yeah, this is what the lace is given right now. Um, the only thing is I wish I would have cut off a little bit more of the cap. Actually, I'm just gonna pull it back and do that now because you can see this part is showing through the lace. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit more of that off. So it's not bothering me. All right, so we looking good, looking good. I'm just gonna clip the hair out of the way a bit because I'm going to use my Ebon spray for this install and I'm gonna spray this down. And I'm also gonna cut these little tabs, these lace tabs right here because it's easier to work with melting the lace when they're off. Oh, it's <laughs> definitely giving wet lace. What lace? Period. What lace? Where is it? Where is it? All right, so those are off. I'm gonna use my Ebon spray in the black can and I'm just gonna spray that along the hairline so that it can melt in. Oh. And I'm just gonna use my elastic band and tie my edges down. I hope this is tight how I want it to be because I don't know the velcro ones don't be doing it for me but then again yeah okay all right so let me just blow dry this because I have no patience to just sit and wait for it to dry so I'm gonna blow dry this on like a low hot setting until I feel like it's good enough for the elastic band to come off Okay, yeah, no, I lied. I'm not gonna blow dry this complete. No, I blow dry that enough. My head is 
burning it's it's hot and my room does not have central air or an ac and i can't put on the fan because it's gonna make too much noise i'm burning right now so i'm gonna let this air dry a bit and i'll come back when um it's time for me to take the elastic band off all right i'm back all right let me just um, this so it's pretty dry i'm just gonna peel it back <laughs> a bit and i'm gonna use my i'm gonna be using my eyebrow razor to um cut the lace but i'm just gonna split it down the middle with my regular scissors first and then i'm gonna use my eyebrow razor just to cut a more jagged line across the lace instead of like just a straight one Right, it has like a little bit of a cast around the edge of it. So I'm just gonna spray my finger a bit with the ebon spray and I'm just gonna tap along the edges of the lace just to make sure everything looks really melted. And then just fan it. And I'm actually gonna do a little bit of baby hairs or at least attempt to do a little bit of baby hairs on this wig. So I'm just gonna part out a little bit of edges on the sides of the closure with my rat tail comb. Just about that much. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side and I'm just gonna hot comb it down into place and put my elastic band back on. I'm actually gonna use a smaller elastic band because I wanna make my part while these are kind of like laying down. And of course it's gonna be a middle part. I think once you have like really long hair, a middle part should be your go-to. I feel like a bust down middle, whether it's wavy, curly, straight, it don't matter. Once it's 30 inches, a bust down middle part is what you need to be doing. First initial install. So I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle. Make sure, make sure my shit's straight. All right, the middle is the middle end. And you see what I said before, okay. I know I'm not tripping. This is a four by four, but it's given like five by five how deep this part goes back. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, look at that. That does not give me four by four. The four by fours I usually receive or have been experiencing would stop like right here. This just gave me like extra leeway. So I'm missing, I'm, I'm fucking with this wig. This is a nice wig. It's giving me a little extra space for my middle part. Love that for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin my hair back so I can deal with my baby hairs and then we can get into styling this bad boy. I low key want a like frontal of this just to like get the whole look instead of just a closure, but I know myself and I know I'll probably wear that frontal for three days. I know myself. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna use my razor comb and I'm just going to razor this hair off this was a little bit longer so i'm gonna just raise it back off a bit there we go and i'm just gonna curl them up with my mini flat iron All right, so I was gonna use hairspray for my edges, but I really don't want them to be crunchy. I want them to be like movable, especially because it's wavy or curly hair. So I'm gonna use mousse. Um, this is the Lotta Body with Milk and Honey Refining Mousse. The same mousse I'm gonna use to define the um, waves or curls on this wig. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and just put that right there. And I'm just gonna take my edge brush and dip it in there. And then just try to finesse it as much as I can.
all right so this is what the baby hairs are given it's more difficult for me to do this on a closure than a frontal for some reason i think it's because i have like these little borders now blocking me but it still came out really cute So I'm just gonna tie my edges back down while I work on defining the rest of this hair. So to define, I'm gonna be using two products. I'm gonna be using my Mio um, Babusu Brazilian Curly Cocktail Cream because I really liked it from my last install and it smells so good. It smells like a, a lime cocktail. That's what I was trying to describe it to be last time, but I couldn't put my finger on it, but it smells like a lime like margarita. Okay, and I'm also using the Lotta Body Mousse that I used for my edges. Once again, this is the Lotta Body with Milk and Honey Refinery Curl Defining Mousse. And of course, a spray bottle of water. So I'm just gonna work in big sections because even though this is a lot of hair, it doesn't look like it's like that much maintenance. So I'm just gonna take two back sections and then two front sections and then work on defining this hair. All right, you guys, so I just got finished defining this hair. It is beautiful, okay? And it gave me no issues. It did not shed that much. Like, the definition is just, <laughs> I love it. This is so pretty. Even the ends curled really nice. It's not too stringy. I am going to let this air dry. I'm gonna go change and then come back and see the final look. All right, I am back. This hair is bomb. Oh my God. I didn't even have to put makeup in the part. That's how you know I did a good bleach job because normally I don't be bleaching enough or I bleach too much. So this was like perfect. But this hair is so nice. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I absolutely love it. I cannot stop like touching my hair and looking at it because this install was the best by far. And I'm just gonna show you what the back looks like. <laughs> but yeah, this hair is so nice. I absolutely love it. I definitely recommend, 10 out of 10, recommend this hair. And I mostly love that it is a closure. Like, you don't understand how high maintenance a frontal is. This being a closure makes it so much more manageable on top of the hair being manageable of itself. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have to wet this every single day because to me, it's already like so defined that you wouldn't have to redefine it every single day. You get what I'm saying? Unless like you're constantly touching it and making it frizzy. But this hair is like the perfect summer hair, if you ask me. I will have all the links on this hair, all the specs, the link to the website, and the direct link to this unit in my bio down below. And make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you know the next time I make a new video. Reshine hair, y'all did it with this unit. I'm not even gonna lie. This was it okay i needed this in my life i didn't know i needed this wig until i got this wig and now i know i needed it so thank you again reshine for sending me this wig i absolutely love it and thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this install and i will see you in my next video bye